All right, gents. We all know that when you're forging a blade, a nice rectangular piece of steel is a good place to start, but we'd like to make it more challenging. So instead, you'll be choosing the steel that you used today from this burning barrel. So John, you're up first. Please choose your steel. I hope and pray that I'm going to get something easy to work with. Whatever I choose, I hope I'm familiar with it. Those are cubes of 1095. I was excited that it was 1095. I was not excited that it was cubes shaped like a pyramid. Your first round challenge is to forge a hatchet. Your hatchets must be between six and eight inches from butt to edge. And your edge must be between four and six inches. Make sure you stick to those parameters. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your three hour starts now. We've got four different types of steels and four different configurations. My first step is to isolate a single cube, and then I take it to the grinder and start cleaning it up. I think one of those little bitty cubes is going to be enough steel for a bit. The high carbon bit is going to go where the edge will. I'm going to grab a rectangle of uh, mild steel. I'll draw out the mild steel to form the jacket and then insert the bit. And it's just a simple forge weld from there. One hour has elapsed. That leaves you two hours remaining to finish your work. John has a massive chunk of mild steel over a big glue. Yeah, John's probably going to end up with more steel for his body than he's going to need. At first, it's going pretty well. Boy, that's ugly. Ah, got to start over. Things weren't lining up very well. I started off with too much metal, and I took some off. It was still too much. So I just cut my losses as quickly as I could and started on another piece. The first one was too big. This smaller jacket is going a whole lot better, but the clock is uh, starting to catch up with me. Two hours has elapsed. You have just 60 minutes remaining. John's setting his welds. It was difficult starting over, but so far, things are going a lot smoother than uh, the first time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blade Smith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This round is over. All right, Blade Smiths, in this first round of competition, you were to make hatchets. Now it's time for the judges to take a closer look at your work. Aaron, young men, you're up next. And there is a lot of meat here. Um, there's going to be a lot of weight on the shaft. Your alignment isn't bad, but you got a bow right in here. I'm a little worried about how long your edge is here. Yes, sir. All right, John, you're up. Please present your blade to the judges. Yeah, that's lean. The shape is really aggressive, good fighter. Not that great on a tool axe, but but uh, for a thrower or a fighter, pretty nice. It looks solid, certainly sounds solid. So very well done. All right, JC, you're up. Please present your hatchet to the judges. I like the overall size of the, the eye. That, that'll you know, allow for a good size handle. But with all the mass back here, None of it up there. I mean, you drew this down to uh, that's it's less than an eighth of an inch. Bladesmiths, at the end of this round, each of you was to have turned in a hatchet head with an edge that was between four and six inches in length. Now, two of you have done that. Matt, John, you guys will be moving on to the next round. Aaron, JC, both of your edges came up short. Bladesmith leaving the forge is. JC, your blade didn't make the cut. Jay Nielsen's going to tell you why. At the end of the day, there's not enough material left to be able to correct the parameter ratio. And that's why we're sending you home. JC, please surrender your hatchet. <laughs> 